represent who Christ is on earth. Because that's what we're called to do. Your job, your work, that's just God's way of bringing seed. Seed that you can sow. That's what that's for. Your work was not designed to make you wealthy. Giving is what makes you wealthy. Last night when I was praying, this morning actually, when I was praying, uh, when, I, when I finally uh, shut down my computer, all my slides were done, all my notes, and I uh, went up to my room and got ready to go to sleep. I started to pray. And the Lord reminded me of something. In a few moments, we're going to be giving our offerings and bringing our tithes. Let this be a prophetic gesture. This is the first offering for the year, the first offering for the decade, 2010. This is the year of fulfilled desires. Let your offering be a prophetic gesture. As you sow, let it be the seed that will, to some extent, Determine the kind of harvest you are expecting. I'm not saying give big. I'm not even calling for a special offering. What I am saying is consider before you put your money or your checks in the envelope that your offering, not the tithe, the offering, that the offering, the seed that you're going to give today, is going to be a prophetic seed for our fulfilled desires. But before I take up the offering, I want to, in case we have friends or visitors here that, uh, you know, you're saying, you know what, I wish I could delight in the Lord that way. I wish, I wish I could know God that way. I wish He would be that close to me. Let me tell you something. He can be. All you need to do is give your life to Jesus. That's all you need to do. And I want to give you that opportunity. This is the first Sunday of the year. First Sunday of the decade. This is a good time to be born again. This is a good time to give your life to Jesus Christ. Even those of you that are watching on video, this is a good time to give your life to Jesus Christ if you haven't given your life to Jesus yet. I'm going to ask everyone right now to close their eyes and bow their heads. And while every eye is closed and every head is bowed, if you're here and you're saying, Pastor, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to give my life to Jesus. Then I invite you to join me in this prayer. Just follow after me in this prayer. The words are important, yes, but your heart response is even more important. Just repeat after me. Let me supply the words. But if you mean it from your heart, I promise you, before this prayer is over, you will be saved. You will be part of the kingdom of God. And you will know that you know that God, without a doubt that God loves you very much. Let's pray. Let's just close your eyes. Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for dying on the cross. And by your death, and your spilled blood you have washed away all my sins thank you for forgiving me of all my sins thank you that you will remember my sins never again you have thrown it into the sea and as far as the east is from the west so far are my sins for me now I know you love me 
teach me to love you back. I surrender my life to you. I commit my ways to you. Teach me how to delight in you. Thank you that my needs are met and that you will give me the desires of my heart. Thank you so much for loving me. I will follow you all the days of my life. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. And while eyes are still closed, I just want to know, is there anyone that prayed that prayer for the first time? If you can just lift up your hand because I want to pray for you. I'm not going to ask you to come here in front. I just want to pray for you. You know, the Bible says, if even only one comes into the kingdom, all of heaven rejoices. There is a party right now. Imagine all the people all over the world, people giving their lives to Jesus today. Not just this one, but all over the world. Every service, in every country, people are giving their lives to Jesus. There is much rejoicing going on in heaven. Let me just pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak your blessing. I speak your blessing. I pray, Father, that this new child of God will come to know you in a way that is so intimate, so real, so fresh. Let him know what your purpose is. Let your will be done in this person's life. That this life will bring you praise and glory forever. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. You know what? This is going to be a good year. I have a feeling that this is going to be a good, good year. Amen? Awesome year. Awesome year. Let's lift up our tithes and offerings. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lose your blessing of multiplication and abundance, super abundance, a super abounding anointing to come upon everyone, O oh Lord, that is in this hall right now and all those listening to the, to the CD or watching the video. I lose that anointing. I speak an anointing of success and victory and triumph and peace and joy of multiplication. I speak that over everyone. I speak health upon everybody. I speak joy, which is your strength. And I speak your blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up His countenance on you and grant you shalom. Blessing in every area of your life. I declare it done in Jesus name and everybody said amen. amen and amen and amen before you go make sure you love someone hug someone and bless someone happy new year we'll see you next Sunday God bless you all